So time is running out for Donald Trump to secure a bond covering the nearly half a billion dollars he owes in a New York civil fraud judgment against his business. The ex-president now has just three days left to find someone willing to issue him that bond if he wants to avoid actually coughing up the cash while he appeals. At the beginning of the week, Trump's lawyers claimed in a court filing it was, quote, not possible for him to obtain a bond for the full amount of his judgment, which comes to $454 million. They said that Trump had been rejected by 30 companies who issue bonds. That sparked a whole lot of speculation about how he may have to sell off some of his assets or that they could even be seized by New York State. Trump, of course, owns a significant amount of valuable property in New York and several other states. But today, the ex-president appeared to break some news about his financial status. In a lengthy, all caps, early morning post on Truth Social, Trump claimed that he has plenty of money to back up the bond, quote, through hard work, talent, and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash. This declaration brings up an important question. If it is true he has half a billion dollars lying around, why did his lawyers tell the court that no one would give him a bond for less than that amount? Either the lawyers were lying or Donald Trump is lying. You can probably guess which is more likely. But it is certainly possible Trump will be able to pull a rabbit out of a hat and secure a bond by Monday. Uh, in fact, there's a huge real development today that could just do the trick, although it's a little unclear. Trump's media company, which includes Truth Social, became a public company through a merger that will raise Trump's wealth by billions of dollars and potentially help pay his mounting legal bills. As The New York Times explains it, Trump Media and Technology Group is poised to debut on Wall Street at a market value of around $5 billion. The ex-president owns more than 60% of the company, which works out to about $3 billion. However, there are restrictions in the merger agreement that prevent major shareholders from selling shares for at least six months or using them as collateral for loans. But because Trump controls so much of Trump media and because his allies are expected to make up a majority of the board, the members of the board could waive those restrictions on request. <laughs> Got all that? So with the clock ticking, I don't know, can he get it done by Monday? Let's ask Adam Reese, who's a reporter for NBC News, who's closely following the story, and he joins me now. Adam, great to have you here. Thank you. All right. He says he has the cash uh, on Truth Social, but... If he had the cash, then we probably wouldn't be in this situation, right? Is that a fair determination? Yeah. Um, when the E. Jean Carroll case happened, he had the bond. He had the money for the bond, but he was still asking uh, the court for more time. So it's possible he actually has the money right now. I don't think that's the case. So we're going to get to Monday, and it's going to be a showdown, and, and we'll see what happens. Showdown where? Like, showdown at court, like, with Judge Angoran? Well, we need to keep a close eye on the docket. Um, Judge Angoran is, tightening, is tightening the screws on him. The monitor is there. The Trump Organization essentially can't do anything without the court and the monitor knowing. She is on top of it. She's been there for about 16 months. Anything they do, transfers of funds, financial accounting, moving money from one source to another, she's going to know about it and report back to the court. Okay, so one way this could go down is this media merger, right, where Trump, Trump Media is merging with this company that's already, I guess, a public company, right? They're like a, one of these special vehicles, right, a SPAC, right? And this happened today. The, the digital world, that's who he's going to merge with, their stock price plunged more than 13% Friday to just under $37 because Trump will own roughly 78 million shares in the post-merger company. The fall in price cut Trump's paper take from the deal by around $457 million, which is rough. That's exactly how much he owns. That's how much the stock declined today. Right. But the big question is, like, could because the deal's happening, could you then go get use the your stock as collateral for a loan to get a bond. I don't think there's any chance that can happen. It went public. It's worth about $5 billion, allegedly, on paper. He has 60% of it at $3 billion. Can he sell that? It's locked up for a period of time. Even if it gets unlocked, can he sell that stock? To me, it's essentially monopoly money. Why? Just because you're saying, well, obviously, you can't go into a market <laughs> with 60% of the shares without utterly destroying the value of the stock. And also, you need enough people that want to invest in true social. Yes, you have to find buyers. Right. So you think that is... But I guess in the shorter term, like, you don't see a way that he basically uses some waiver from the board over the weekend to then take stock as collateral for a bond? It doesn't appear that's even possible. Okay. That, 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 you don't think that's happening? 
that's not a scenario that's feasible at all. Okay. So when you say showdown on Monday, so what? walk me through what we are anticipating. I think that the attorney general is not going to slap a sticker on Trump Tower. Um, that's just not their style. I think it's <laughs> There are more many people like, who would like that to happen. I'm just pointing that out. But yes, I agree with you. FBI agents with FBI jackets storming the right. place. Or like, you know, like chains with like a, lot, like a master lock in front. I no. think it's more likely we're going to see some type of attachment to his, uh, maybe his Schwab accounts. He used some Schwab accounts to pay E. Jean Carroll. Um, some of his more liquid assets is something they're more likely to take than some of his buildings, which not only have lost value, but are leveraged and, and are already encumbered. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. When we, we put up those graphics, some of the things you'll see, like Trump World Tower, which net value of $19.8 million, you're like, well, that doesn't seem enough. But that's because there's a bunch of condos already sold. Um, so it's, it's, it's less than it might, might appear. There's other buildings that have big outstanding loans against some mortgages, essentially. So let me ask you a technical question. When you say that Charles Schwab, again, this is way outside my normal area of expertise, but I guess, can the government just, like, yoink, like, reach into your Charles Schwab account and be like, this money is now ours? They can now. Um, they've already gotten the court order. All They don't need to go back to the court. They can go to the sheriff, and, and if, if that's the case, and, and they can do it. They could have done it weeks ago, but they've given the Trump organization a grace period. That takes us to Monday, and that's the deadline.